Alumni Weekend at Tactical Response, July 2016. What is Alumni Weekend? What happens there? I didn't know, but I reserved a spot, loaded it in my Mustang convertible, and drove to Canada, Tennessee to find out. Kim Tesla here. Uh, July 2016 was my very first Alumni Weekend at Tactical Response. I took Advanced Fighting Pistol the uh, two days before Alumni Weekend. I had four days of skill development and incredible networking. If I met you there, I'm terrible with names. So if you know me online, then please say, hey, Townsall, met you at Alumni Weekend. If you're on Get Out the X, I actually use my real name, just like Jaeger requested that we do. So you can look me up on there. I don't mess around too much on Get Off the X because I don't know who's who on there and there's just a whole lot of oh, stuff that I can't verify. So I'm more likely to talk to people when I know uh, who they really and truly are. Don't hide behind some kind of fake name. Why are you doing that? I met Cindy and Carl Hurt. Carl was in my advanced fighting pistol class and Lord Cindy is a saint. Carl is a firearms instructor and can pistol whip a dummy like nobody's business. We went to the SOE party. This is Carl and Wade who were in my advanced fighting pistol class. There's a video up about my advanced fighting pistol class if you want to know more about that. The SOE building is absolutely gorgeous. This is the stair landing to go upstairs. I had to get a picture of that. I also met the Andrews and Emily. Awesome people. The Andrews are with Nuff Kits, so check them out. And Emily and I are talking about ways to conceal carry. Then, I don't know who this is, but he had on an Allison Chain shirt, and that can't be a bad thing, right? We had a storm that night, and my computer in my back seat got soaking wet, but I rescued it with 20 pounds of rice from the Camden Walmart. The Country Hearth Inn has a swimming pool that wasn't too bad, but I cooled off anyway. Ben Mookie Thomas went and swing, but I don't know if that's a recommendation that the pool is safe. I actually posted a review on Get Off the X, and so this is it photocopied. If you want to read this and explore the links for the um, sessions that were videotaped, get on Get Off the X, and please use your real name so we know who you are, and follow the links there. But just I'm going to read a little bit of, a little bit about this. Calvin did a session on wound packing, which was awesome. He went and found these large pieces of meat, and then we either shot them or stabbed them and then he showed us like how to, to pack the wounds it was really really awesome and we could compare like the size of the entry and exit wounds for different uh, sizes of ammo and for um, the various slices of knives it was almost a scientific scientific experiment it was close it was very very helpful then Tim Morris uh, found a place in the shade and talked to us about backup guns and he acted Finally, 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 my little SIG P290 that people have made fun of in Fighting Pistol and Advanced Fighting Pistol found a place in the heart of a tactical response instructor as a backup gun. Okay, it's a backup gun. I'm a tiny person, so I'm carrying a tiny gun. But Tim did a thing on um, on backup guns, which was very, very useful. He had a lot of, lot of pistols laid out, and he walked through the pros and cons, cons of all of them. So very, uh, very hands-on visual presentation there. Green Force Tactical was there. Christian Green, has, he is, if you ever get a chance to watch him, he is, you should just pay to watch him. You should just pay to watch him because he gave a very spirited talk about the history of um, the company and the benefits of Green Force Tactical holsters. And he had many products laid out there that were, avail that were available for us to handle and to look at and to see the various uh, shapes and sizes and colors and, and formats and things like that. Christian went around, he's like an excellent teacher. He went around at the end and uh, had each person do what I have in my class called a stand and state, like tell what you learned or what you need to learn or what is your takeaway. And he had each person to either ask a question or to do that, which was awesome, getting everybody involved. He doesn't have, a, didn't have a video for his presentation, but I gave the website on my Get Off the X a review. If I can link all these in my text from my YouTube video, I'll do so. Jay Gibson gave us an incredible information on what it takes to be a leader. 
and the responsibilities that go with it, with it. I, I completely agree with him that a lot of people want to be a leader, but they don't want the responsibilities that go with that. And in my humble opinion, there's a big difference between being a leader and a manage, manager. A leader is going to be somebody who has that vision and can get people motivated to uh, seek that vision. And a manager is the person who actually has the organizational skills that can carry out that vision. So you may have a person who has leadership skills with a vision and someone else who has managerial skills that's able to carry those out. I think that for most organizations and most causes, we need both of those. And some, some people have both leadership and managerial skills as well. But Jay gave an incredible talk that is online. Uh, David, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say your last name, starts with a G, talked about discipline of a warrior he gave us some historical accounts of warriors and their behaviors um, as role models and how they met their high goals. That's also on YouTube. Billy Burzell, this is probably the um, the one that I couldn't shake. I could not shake what I learned in Billy's in Billy's session. Billy is a great speaker, and I understood what Billy was challenging challenging us to do. And I I was one of the few people that did it. Billy made a case for us to be citizen journalists that. The media is going to present the view of a gun owner and it's going to be a gun owner who is making news, which is not the right kind of news. So so the middle middle ground public, that's going to be what they see of gun ownership. So those of us that are not gun nuts, that are not um, you know, idiots and murderers, we need to tell our story. Why do we carry? Why do we train? Why do we believe? that we need to have the best technological tools available to defend ourselves and other innocents. And Billy challenged us to make a video called I'm a Citizen Journalist to do that. And my video is the very first YouTube video I made. It's um, <laughs> in all of its shame and glory posted on my YouTube channel. But Billy has a three section, and Billy and James have a three section progress about how this, cha how this challenge was made. So you can look all that up as well. But we, um, we need to let the public see the face of regular, sane, and logical gun owners that um, that we're not, you know, the crazy stuff that makes the news. Jordan Winkler's uh, session did not get recorded. If somebody has that recording, they need to please um, share it with us. But Jordan gave a great session about um, um, music for warriors, and he talked about the history of music in war times. And Jordan is an excellent teacher, and Jordan made this lecture so interesting. It is just a shame. It is just a shame that we don't have it on a digital recording. So I hope somebody out there has got it and, and can share that with us. Then Heather Yeager Glover, we went to the Painatorium, and Heather used um, volunteers. She's also an excellent instructor. She was going to, th thought she would only have time to show us how to do one move. But she actually ended up uh, having time to show us the proper techniques for squats, bench, deadlift, and press. She gave clear and concise instruction. And I don't think that anybody videotaped that section either, but um, there's a video of her and Jaeger talking about what she learned and what she can do. And so you, you can watch that and see what Heather does. Heather's also available for training sessions. If you go to uh, Camden to take a class. Uh, you can hook up with Heather and she'll take you through some uh, some private, you have to pay for those of course, some private training for for strength training. And she's been trained um, so she's got, all, she's got all the background and the credentials and things like that that you need. Another session I went to was Steve Andrews and Tyler Owens. Tyler is just the sweetest kid. He is just, he is the sweetest kid. Uh, Steve Andrews and Tyler Owens from Holter, a Holster Smith making a sheath Tyler demonstrated how to make a pistol sheet, and Steve explained how we can open our own small business by doing so for others. And also, there's not a video, but I'll provide the link uh, for them on my Get Off the X review. And Steve's wife is just, she is a lovely, lovely person. I love you, sweetheart. I love seeing your pictures of your food and your children. You, you're one of the people that brightens up my day. No negative posts, just always sweet. Great people. Then Rick, uh, Rick, I'm not even going to try to say your last name because I can barely speak Southern, but uh, Rick did a thing on Ham Radio Basics because he talked about if, um, you know, you know, what hits the fan, then Ham Radio may be what we have left to communicate and then how to prepare for that for off times. I don't think anybody videotaped that. If they did, again, they probably need to post that. He gave us a lot of information that I think was over most of our heads and we were completely just um, baffled, but we we probably need we need to not be baffled by that information honestly 
Then uh, my, my last session that I saw was Ben Mookie Thomas. Um, I had the pleasure of staying in the same hotel as Ben and saw him out by the pool. He is a hilarious fellow. I learned that he and I both love Starbucks. And that coffee in the place that we were staying, it was just nasty. So I went to Walmart and got me some a Starbucks coffee and a little container and parceled some out for Ben to have his Starbucks, but somebody else had already beat me to it and gave him a Starbucks gift bag. So he was all taken care of. But um, I was there for the Sunday afternoon session and the discussion was a little bit different. I think what they videotaped and put up on um, Tactical Responses channel was the morning session. But kudos to uh, Mookie for having diversity of opinion and kudos to Jaeger for bringing people in who don't think about every single thing the same way that he thinks about things. This diversity of opinion is what's going to help us to grow and to become more rational, to become more reasonable, and that's what our community wants to be. We don't want to be static and just all think the same way. But um, Mookie's morning session is um, posted, and I have that link on my video review on Get Off The X. You can find me with my real name on Get Off The X. You can find me with my real name on Facebook. You can find me with my real name on YouTube because I'm just old enough and credentialed enough that I don't have anything to hide. I didn't say I don't have anything to be ashamed of. I said I don't have... Well, I don't have much to hide. But thanks for listening to my review for Alumni Weekend. If you get the chance to go, I highly recommend it. I will be back again next summer come hell or high water. Bye, and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and share. Just one more little mini rant from a little runt about the use of these fake names and whatnot online. In my humble experience, I found that when people don't use their real names on discussion boards that they tend to bully, they tend to be mean. It's hard to vet out what they're saying. We can't verify it. Why not just be who you are? If you are an expert and you have an opinion and you respect yourself as a person, use your real name. What are you hiding about? What are you hiding from? Are you trying to create some big persona that's bigger than who you really are? Are you not good enough for yourself? You're protecting your privacy? Then why are you out there saying all this stuff if you're protecting your privacy? I, that's just my opinion. Your mileage may vary. Just to end on a positive note, if you have a firearm, make sure that you get some firearm safety training. Make sure that you abide by firearm safety guidelines and thank you for watching and also go out there and tell people that you uh that you're doing so we need to hear more from sane and rational people thanks for watching bye